You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, then you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Welcome back to the Chemnomic Information Service. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. First and foremost, I'd like to say thank you to all my new subscribers and remaining subscribers. Without you, I would not be able to make this possible. And please keep those subscribers going. I'd like to get to 500 subscribers by the end of this year. Now, the topic of today's video. I thought I'd bring something back from the archives, something back from way back in the day when all this started. Many of you may be aware, or many of you may not be aware, I had a previous channel to this. It was called John's Channel. Now, I started off like everyone else does. KDRC will be fully aware of this also will be KDDE and the other reaction channels. I started off reacting to Ken and you probably notice why or wonder why I don't use actual physical video clips of Ken in any of my reactions. And I'd like to break that down for you and explain why today. So when I first started my reactions to Ken I was doing exactly the same as KDRC does now, using actual video footage of Ken. And when I first started, everyone loved it. The reactions were great, the content was great, the views were great. However, Ken didn't like that. And as soon as he started to realise that I was one of the first reaction channels, including KDRC, to react to his content, Ken struck me with a copyright strike. Now, in a copyright strike, what that means is that it's putting a block on the content, that Ken deemed it that I was attacking him and attacking his content. Now, as a reaction channel, you are allowed to react to content. It's not breaking any copyright laws. However, Ken deemed that I was breaking those copyright laws. Now, to counteract a copyright strike, you have to provide your own personal information. Now for me, yes, I could have provided my own personal information, but I wasn't going to do that. I wasn't about to freely give my information to Ken Domic. So I didn't um, appeal that first counter out strike. And what you can actually do is you can allow it to run for 30 days and then that strike will actually drop off. So that's what I did. I let it drop off and I continued as normal. The views kept rolling in and the content was successful. Everyone was loving what I was doing. But then, all of a sudden, Ken again illegally struck me with three copyright strikes on the run. He'd absolutely shattered my account. And I certainly wasn't going to let him have any of my personal information. Now you're probably wondering, well, why? Why did I not want to provide my personal information to Ken? As KDRC will testify, all Ken Domic wants to do with that information is keep it for himself. He will never, ever, ever take it any further. So he thinks by getting your own personal information or my own personal information, he has a hold on you. He has that hold on you that if you try and release any further content, that he has your information, where you live, your name, and all your contact information. 
and I'm certainly never ever going to give that information out to anyone, let alone Ken Domic. How does Ken Domic think that he can get away with that? He hit my channel and killed my channel. He did the same to KDRC. Now, with all due respect to KDRC, he went a little bit further and he actually served Ken with papers. And Ken Domic, being the dumb fuck that he is, he actually opened those served papers. Now, there is something in place that allows KDRC to react to Ken, and Ken is not allowed to serve any copyright strikes. Every single copyright strike that Ken brought upon me was a false copyright strike. He was abusing the copyright system to his own game because he couldn't believe that someone was reacting to his content. He felt that it was tarnishing his name and his reputation. If you look online now, there are hundreds of reaction channels to all different types of content. It doesn't have to be food related. There are contents there on the paranormal and all different types of reaction channels. With what we're doing as a reaction channel, it is not breaking the law in any way, shape or form. But what Ken wants to do is protect this vulnerability that he believes that he has and he can't stand anyone attacking him in any way shape or form now it's very interesting that's been brought to my attention quite recently is that ken has now blocked the image of the elf shack on google maps What's wrong, Ken? Are you fearful that people know where you live? We already know where you live. It's been out in the open domain for absolute years. So by doing that, you're only adding to the fact that you cannot bear the fact that people don't particularly like you. Again, you've put yourself in this position, Ken. And now, because you are on your knees with your channel, you don't like it. You're throwing a fucking hissy fit. You're throwing all of your toys out of the pram and acting like it's all your fault. And thinking that people, oh, why are these people hating on me? Why are these people not liking any of my content anymore? To be truthful, Ken, your content's shit. It's been shit for years. And as you proved on your live stream, which was a fantastic capture from the Canadian Stud Muffin, who passed it over to KDRC in the, in the um, Kendomic, Kendomic community, and he's used that. Ken Domic has now admitted he doesn't mind doing food reviews, but he's sick of doing them. Well, I'm sorry, Ken. That's what you started out to be. You just thought, by now, all the money would have come in. And you'll be a millionaire. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Ken. Money doesn't make you happy. You know, having all the luxuries in life can't make you happy. And you firmly believe that doing these offshoots, these 24-hour stealth camping videos, or these travels with Carol is going to save your channel. I mean, KBD Productions TV, it doesn't give you a breakdown of what that actual channel is. It's just a main banner name for your concept being absolutely anything it wants to be. But Ken, you can't go from reviewing food for X amount of years to then 
completely changing your mind and thinking, shit, I need to do something completely different now. That ship has sailed a long, long time ago. It's time that you actually realised that all the reaction channels are telling the truth. We will never give up until the fight is won, Ken. We will keep picking away and getting that message out there. Getting that message to people to show them what you truly, truly are. We will win. There is no question of that. If you turn round and said, this isn't working, this isn't working, I would think more of you as a man. But you're never going to do that. You've tarnished your family name beyond all repair. Every single YouTuber that you've done a collaboration with will never, ever want to collab with you again. They've seen the successes. They've seen what it could be. And you are so fucking jealous and bitter and twisted because that isn't you. And I'll tell you why that isn't you, Ken. It's all down to you. You were the one that put yourself in that position. You were the one that left your paid job at a school because you thought by now you'd have retired and as you thought living in Hawaii with Carol. Brought to my attention a few months ago as a Canadian citizen citizen you can only live in in hawaii for six months of the year so do you really think you're gonna go backwards and forwards ken backwards and forwards between there and hawaii if that money have come into you what do you do when you look in the mirror in the morning when you're shaving your face or you're shaving that big fat bald head I bet you look at yourself and go, yeah, I've still got it. Yeah, everyone loves me. Or do you secretly look at yourself and not mention to anyone that you think, fuck, what am I going to do now? It's too late, Ken. It's far too late. Close your channels down. Admit defeat. People would think more of you if you turn round and gone, you know what? I fucked up. How many more live streams? Drunken, erratic, disturbing live streams are you going to do, Ken? How much more alcohol do you think your body is going to take? The abuse that you've put your body under for years is clearly showing now. Look at yourself. All this fasting and intermittent fasting bullshit, it's not going to work anymore. Your body has been accustomed to all that fast food. You should have started doing your diet and your health kick years ago. That's why you are a diabetic. Your doctors must have been screaming at you for years, telling you, you need to stop doing this. You need to be healthy. But no, because that money was rolling in and rolling in, you thought, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Well, I'll tell you what, Ken, tomorrow's come and gone. It's far too late. You've put yourself in this position. No one else has given you anything more than money. You're a greedy, greedy person. All you think about is yourself. And that is very, very sad. Now, what I'm going to do for you guys is I want to do a massive, massive live stream for my 500 subscriber special. So that's what I'm aiming for, guys. I'm aiming for that 500 subscriber special. What I want you to do is spread the word. 
get those subscribers in it's free to subscribe and I don't do this for any monetary gain at all I do just do this for a laugh so guys thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe this video and let's get me to that 500 subscriber special and let's have a great time stay safe and I'll see you on the next one bye for now